So we're all uh, familiar with the old hard hat. Everybody has to wear them, OSHA requires it. But where did those first hard hats come from? Why were they developed? Whose idea was it? Well, the first hard hats that were made were actually made out of just regular ball caps that were dipped in pitch or tar. They would set them out in the sun, the tar would get hard, they would wear them on their heads to protect themselves. This was kind of a DIY thing for guys that worked in the metal industry to protect their heads. Later on in 1898, the actual hard hat was developed. Uh, it was made uh, primarily aluminum or steel. They were mandatory when building the Hoover Dam and the Golden Gate Bridge. Guys would wear these hard hats to protect themselves from nuts, bolts, or anything else that would fall on their head. So OSHA requires us to wear hard hats when there's a risk of anything that could potentially fall from a height and hurt our heads. The hard hats we wear are Type 1 Class C. So these are going to protect you pretty well. You notice that in the last few years, if you've been with the company a while, you notice that our new hard hats are all vented. And this is just so that we can get a little bit of air in there so that you guys don't get so hot when you're out working in the summer sun. So when do we need to inspect our hard hats and why? We should inspect our hard hats at the beginning of every shift. When we put our hard hats on, we need to look it over and make sure that it's actually gonna protect our head. So if you've been here a while, you probably remember the old style hard hats. These are the new ones and they are vented so that that hot air will come out and keep you guys a little bit cooler. Some things we need to look for when we're inspecting our hard hats. First off, we wanna look over the whole shell of the hard hat. We're looking for any sort of cracks, any sort of dents where the hard hat was, uh, it could have been damaged. Another thing we wanna look for is the actual ratchet strap and the inner side of the helmet. So we're looking to make for sure these straps are in good shape, they're all plugged into their proper holes, and our ratchet strap actually works. This is a good example of a hard hat that needs to be taken out of service. If you can see this, you can see that the top of this hard hat is really rough. Uh, there's pretty good damage to the top of it. This is something that we would want to take out of service. A lot of guys ask, why can't we put stickers all over our helmets? Because uh, honestly, it looks pretty cool when you have a bunch of different stickers on there. And we do that because first off, we want to be uniform across the company and it looks a little bit better. Uh, but also sometimes stickers can affect the surface of the hard hat itself and damage it and we don't even know about it. So we've inspected our hard hat. We've determined that our hard hat is good to wear. It will protect us in a situation where something might fall from some height and hit us in the head. So how do we properly wear our hard hat? First off, you wanna take any headwear that you're wearing, whether that be a baseball cap, a hoodie, or a beanie, and take it off your head. Put the hard hat on. You'll wanna use the ratchet strap in the back to make sure that it's snug and it won't come off your head. Now you don't want it too tight, because that can give you a headache. The only time I tighten mine up real tight is if the wind's blowing real hard to keep it on my head. But you want it to be snug to where it's not sliding around. You don't want it really loose like this. If I can get my finger up in there, that's too loose. If something hits your head, your hard hat's not gonna protect you the way that it ought to. So how do we know when the hard hat is expired? So on here, you can see that it has a manufacturer date. This one is 2015 of April. So in April of 2015, this hard hat was put into production. Now we don't usually go by this date. What we wanna do is we want to write the actual date inside with Sharpie. So the actual shell of the hard hat, it expires in five years from the day it is put into service. The actual ratchet strap or the, the part that holds your head on the inside, we wanna replace that after one year. Okay. So that was all interesting. We like to learn some facts, but I know what you guys really want to see is me tear this dude up. So what we're going to do is we're going to drop some tools, some uh, sockets, things that would be commonly falling in an area that there's risk of that. Uh, we have this man lift behind me. We're going to raise it up to about 20 feet and we're going to drop some objects on this dude. And uh, I hope he doesn't make it. So we'll see. Finale. We 
we have a uh, crowbar with a uh, spiky end on it. So far, the hammers, the bolts, anything like that haven't been able to even damage the hard hat itself. Uh, so we're going to give this a try. Hopefully, uh, this will go through it. So we tried a bunch of different stuff out on this hard hat to try to destroy it. Sledgehammers, big wrenches, sockets, things that would normally fall on your head. Um, but what actually penetrated it was this crowbar right here. And uh, it did a pretty good job. As you can see, it went through the hard hat uh, pretty easily. Um, the cool thing is that it really just poked a little hole in the, uh, in the watermelon, which Again, if it's your skull, that's probably not going to be a good thing, but it didn't go all the way through. It just went in about that far. Um, so now what we're going to try to do is see what these objects would do just on the watermelon itself without the hard hat. So you can see that the hard hat worked extremely well at protecting your head. Um, the crowbar went through it, but it didn't go all the way through. It kind of just bounced off. It didn't. It really held the uh, the most of the blunt force of the crowbar. So this is a good example of why you have to wear your hard hats all the time. Um, it's very essential that we wear them because you just never know when something is going to fall from above and hit you in the head. Um, these guys. When they were wearing their hard hats, they definitely lived. Um, this guy, even with the crowbar, he probably had a pretty good headache, probably had some blood coming out of his head, but he was able to make it. Um, but every single one of these objects, even the uh, socket, would definitely hurt pretty good. But, oh, we still have good watermelons. So, moral of this story, wear your hard hats all the time. So you've seen how a hard hat can protect you from a sledgehammer, a crowbar, a socket, some other things that will typically fall on your head in a workplace setting. I wanted to kind of bump it up a little bit because those didn't quite destroy the hard hat like I was hoping they would. So as a bonus feature to this video, we're going to try to actually destroy this hard hat. All right, so now we know how to destroy a hard hat if we want to. Uh, I don't think he made it. Neither did the hard hat. So anyways, uh, just want to tell you guys, be safe out there. Always wear your hard hats. It'll definitely save your life. Um, not from Tannerite, but from anything else in the workplace that might fall on your head. Uh, you're pretty much good to go. So thank you all. Be safe out there, and we'll talk to you later.